Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll compare the VLOOKUP function to the SUMIFS function. If we take a quick look at the data, we'll notice there are multiple rows that contain account data. For example, there are three rows with wages data. Let's see how both the VLOOKUP and SUMIFS functions operate on this type of data. Equals VLOOKUP, the account, from the TBL data table, Return the value from the fourth column, zero for exact match. Fill the formula down. Now, as we can see, the VLOOKUP function pulled the first matching row, the value 5022 from row 23. Let's do the SUMIFS. Equals SUMIFS, add up the TBL data amount column, only include those rows where the TBL data account column is equal to our account. Fill the formula down. Now, as we can see, the SUMIFS function pulled the sum of all matching rows. And that, my friend, is the first of several key differences. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we'll compare how VLOOKUP and SUMIFS behave when no match is found. Here, the report contains accounts that may not appear in the current month data table, TBL underscore CM. Let's start with VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, the account, in the TBL underscore CM table, return the value from the second column and zero for exact match. Fill it down. When the VLOOKUP can't find a match, it returns the NA error. Let's try the SUMIFS here. Equals SUMIFS, add up the amount column, only include those rows where the account column is equal to our account. Fill it down. When SUMIFS can't find a match, it returns zero. That's much cleaner. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll explore how different data types, such as numbers versus text strings, trip up traditional lookup functions, but not the SUMIFS function. Here, all vendor IDs in the data table are stored as text strings. The summary contains mixed vendor IDs. Some are text values and some are numbers. Let's see what happens. Equals VLOOKUP, the vendor ID, in the TBL underscore vendors table, return the value from the 1, 2, 3, 4th column and 0 for exact match. Fill it down and we can see that the VLOOKUP doesn't match values that are stored as different data types. Let's see how the SUMIFS handles this situation. Equals SUMIFS, add up the amount column, only include those rows where the vendor ID column is equal to the vendor ID. Enter. Fill it down and wow! The SUMIFS function isn't as picky as the VLOOKUP function. That's excellent news! Exercise 4. In this exercise, we'll explore how the VLOOKUP and SUMIFS functions behave when a user inserts new columns into a worksheet. Let's start with VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, the vendor ID from the TBL V data table, return the value from the 1, 2, 3, 4th column and 0 for exact match. Now, the SUMIFS function. SUM, the amount column, only include those rows where the vendor ID column is equal to the vendor ID. Now, fill them both down and everything looks good. But, let's see what happens when we insert a new column. Highlight column E and insert column. Wow, the VLOOKUP is broken, but the SUMIFS continues to work as expected. I don't know about you, but I think the SUMIFS function makes a terrific lookup function. This video is a production of Click Consulting.